In the room number one, we have a 71-year-old male with a history of polycythemia vera since 2016, COPD and osteoporosis. The uh, patient is a heavy smoker. He is treated with a platelet inhibitor due to previous TCI. And in October uh, this year, the patient developed anemia, thoracic pain, and persistent left pulmonary infiltrate, which was seen on the chest X-ray. So a PET scan was uh, uh, performed showing a left healer mass growing into the mediastinum and increased uh, FDG uptake in the left lower lobe as well as in the right uh, costa 7. Uh, it could be metastasis and also enlarged lymph nodes in stations 2R, 7 and left healer uh, region. So the patient is now referred for histological um, evaluation of the enlarged lymph nodes. Thank you, Boyan. Uh, so, this was, of course, to show also a lung cancer related indication. And, uh, Hasim, you are, we see you. Can yes. You hear, can you hear us? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. Good afternoon. Uh, well, you heard the story uh, about uh, the yeah. lung. Uh, tumor in this patient. Uh, I actually, uh, I'm using the pentaxoscope, the linear one, and then uh, I introduced the scope to the stomach. And as you're familiar with the picture, so the first thing that I would like to uh, emphasize is the left adrenal. I uh, usually go deep to the Can we get some uh, ultrasonic images? Thank you. So... Um, you're in the stomach from the cardiac. So, yeah, I start from down from the stomach and uh, try to emphasize the left adrenal, which is very important in the staging of this patient. I know that with the CT scan, they didn't see uh, enlarged uh, or metastasis to the adrenal, but uh, for the sake of education, so I just presented this uh, left adrenal, as you see here, uh, very clearly that it's normal as uh, already we described the anatomy and uh, we can see the cortex and the medulla which is not uh, involved or enlarged by anyway. Um, back to the uh, aorta and uh, the celiac trunk here and I can't even see lymph nodes in the retroperitoneum. It looks very normal for me. So... At least below the diaphragm, I don't see. Um, so for for the pulmonal staging, also the left liver lobe is uh, it's it's visualized. Uh, scanning through that part. Ex exactly. Uh, so because some of the lymph lung cancer patients do have metastasis to this region. Yeah, in the CT scan they showed uh, suspicion of coastal. Uh, metastasis, but uh, not about the liver, so uh, as I can see with the scan here, I don't see any any lesion in the left liver. Okay, let's carry on to the mediastinum. Right, so um, I withdraw the scope. Oops. Hey. Actually, you did you see there is something here? Yeah. There are lower tracheal lymph nodes, uh, at least one here. And it's a small one, but um, actually, this is a, a station nine lymph nodes. Yes, exactly. When we are talking about mountain wrestler classification. Yeah, it's very it's very low, and uh, it's even lower than eight, so it's it should be station nine. But uh, you know, um, I've seen the patient before. We went live, so there are many lymph nodes in the mediastinum. So. Let me show you more when we withdraw back more. Uh, as we are passing the left atrium here, and and here we can see the left atrium. And as we passing back to the standard position of the, or the or at least the left uh, landmark uh, position of the subtrache subtrachea, where we have the. Um, left pulmonary artery here, 
Is that the, the is that the left pulmonary artery or the right pulmonary artery? I'm a little in. Oh, doubt. Sorry, this is this is the right pulmonary artery. The right yes, pulmonary because artery, are, yes. Because we are in the subtrachea, and the ascending aorta should be just below that. I can't see it here, but I can probably twist the scope to show it. And actually, the tracheal rings uh, reflections can be seen in the left side. Yeah, you can see these uh, reflections. Here you so can see these reflections of the trachea, and below that exactly is the station 7. Uh, as you heard the stories, uh, there are involvement of uh, the lymph nodes in station 7, and very clearly you can see large lymph nodes here. Um, so now we have station 7 uh, with suspicious uh, lymph nodes. How about station 5? Yeah. Can we see that? So, well, uh, station I, five. Well, I can see that. Uh, actually, I tried to see station five before we went live, but I couldn't see any any lymph nodes there. Now you're looking to the right. This is was the yes. acidosis vein that you saw exactly. shortly. Yeah. Well, they they acid mentioned. Vein. They mentioned uh, that on the right side, 2R, there should be lymph nodes. This is the azigus vein. When you try to see the azigus vein, don't compress so much because you will actually obliterate the vein very quickly. So I'm trying not to push on the vein and follow the vein to the proximal part. Where here I expect 2R to be at the top of the azigus vein. And I can't see any lymph nodes. No. So, on the right side, I couldn't see any lymph nodes, uh, at least in relation to the azigus vein. I will go back to the left and focus on the tumor. This is the mass of the tumor which is located on the left. Because if I will so rotate... Actually, on the left side below image, you see the, the left bronchus. Yeah, you see the reflection on the left bronchus. Yeah. Which is a straight line. Yeah. Yeah, I can't leave the scope to... Um, I don't have any assistant here to, can, can, can to you show see, you. Can you see the aortic arch and the left pulmonary artery? Or is yeah. it totally... No, it, it, it's involved with the tumor, but I could show you the AP window there, here it yes. is yeah so the aorta the arch of the aorta and the left pulmonary artery here on the left side the left pulmonary artery or, I mean the right side and on this side the aorta yeah. the arch but there are no it's lymph nodes in this station 5 here no Peter there are no lymph nodes as you, as you uh, mentioned the the aortic arch is on the left side and uh, the left pulmonary artery actually uh, on the right side here and between them is station uh, 4L and I can't see any lymph nodes. So if you are going to do a uh, staging uh, in this kind of, of patients, where would you begin? Well, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, normally I will start uh, below the diaphragm, uh, make sure that uh, there's no metastasis to the adrenal, and uh, then from that go up and uh, scan uh, at least uh, station uh, 8 and 9, and then yeah. up to 7, and uh, look for station 4L. And sometimes for R if it's invisible, and um, and finally the tumor, and finally the tumor. So uh, I mean, in order not to upstage the patient, you would start in this direction. So why don't you start then at station nine uh, at the lymph node below, and then do a biopsy of that? Is that okay? Yeah. Or do you? Well, uh, uh, regarding, yeah, I mean, if, if, it's, if, if, if the lymph node station 9 can change the, 
the staging that we have already with the with the CT scan, then it's important. I think it's uh, you should take biopsies from station yeah. nine, and then uh, station uh, seven, and finally the tumor. Exactly. So, um, um, this is the lymph node we try to see. There we have it. Yeah. There we have it. So, um, you open the needle. We're trying actually to use uh, the Mediglobe needle, uh, FNA needle 22 gauge. Yeah, the question is on which side is the lymph nodes located? I think it's, you know, you see the left. It's, I think it's on, uh, the, it's, here. it's on the left side, yes. Uh, I think it's on the left side, yes. It's a small lymph node. Um, <clears throat> Let me see. This one. And I see you chose um, a Mediglobe needle. Yeah. We actually uh, mentioned that we are using the, me the Mediglobe 22 gauge needle. I think uh, most of you are familiar with this needle. It's, uh, we are produ producing the, protruding the, sh the sheet of the needle inside. And as you can see here, the sheet is going out. I'll, I'll uh, can help you pointing. Yeah, good. Mm. Now um, the patient is agitated a little bit. We have a problem with sedation. Uh, what kind of problems do you have? Kind of uh, respiratory problems. Uh, okay. Well, I'll try to cut the the needle. It's very mobile. Sorry, the lymph node. I mean, patient is uh, is not. Try to hold the scope there. Can I hold. So no, that's a forehand procedure now. Of course, it's a little difficult. You see how the, the lymph node is, is moving along, and, and it's uh, difficult to hold the, the position. So the assistant now holds the endoscope a little firm against the mouth of the patient. Uh, did you remove the stylet? Yeah, the stylet is moved. Okay. So actually, the, the, as you can see, the lymph node is moving from side to side also, not only in front of me, but... Sure. Yeah, you got it. So it was kind of a, a punch that caught it, and, and then sometimes you need to do that, and whenever you have it... I have it, but the respiration is uh, actually is, the patient is moving. The lungs are moving yeah, like yeah, yeah, one yeah, centimeter, one centimeter every time. So I'm trying to just get, fix the needle inside the needle. I ha I think I got it. Yes. Suction, suction. Well, I don't think I can do fan technique in this needle and uh, this no, lesion. No, no, it's. Uh, I see the, it's a difficult. Struggling a little bit, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's also moving a lot. The yeah. it's so elastic. You yes, push exactly. Pushing forward. All right. So I think we should remove the section here. That is probably what you can do. And, um, yeah. All right. Can you empty it? Maybe you should, while others are expelling, and if the patient is uh, not doing so well, take the, the seven, station seven lymph nodes, and then move yes. to the tumor finally. 
So now we draw, we're drawing this curve back to station seven. If any questions from the audience, so we can take them. I, I'm also while no, we're doing. No, I think uh, due to uh, time sakes again, uh, please take a quick uh, sample from station seven and then uh, from the two as well. Then, then and and make sure that uh, both uh, specimens for cytology as well as for. Histology. Histology, cool. yes. Yeah. So uh, we are actually now in the, in the exact station seven where we can see the. If you get another needle. Yeah, we're now opening the other uh, FNA needle from Cook. It's a 22 uh, gauge needle from Cook. No, no, are the no. same. We're not. This is. Um, I mean, it's that would be too expensive. So we are working our way from the lowest, or from the highest uh, station to low station. Loading the needle uh, into the scalp, advancing the sheet as you see. What is that? That that's not an FNA needle. That's a fiducial. Please remove it again. It's a um, hard again. No. That's for fiducials. There was a, a couple of the Cook F and A needles from Cook. Brought them to you. It's another room, probably. It's in. Okay. So I think. In the sake of, of time, we need to shift to the other room, and then we might come back to you if you have something interesting to show us. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, take uh, the other case.